Now we'll clean our Boston lobsters. This is approximately 550 grams. I have three pieces with me over here. So if you get them live, what you need to do is just put them in the fridge for an hour or so, just to tire them up, so that it's much easier to clean and less dangerous because of the pincer. So just turn on the tap, a little bit of running water. This is basically very clean, so we just need to just scrub them a little bit with a clean brush. After you have done scrubbing it, turn it over. If you can see, there's a small hole over here. We'll need to poke this through. Take a bamboo chopstick or a skewer. Just push it all the way through. Why is this necessary? Because we want to remove any urine residue from the lobster. Right, you can see that there's droplets of water coming up. And this is actually the urine of the lobster. This will make the flesh taste so much better. So please remember to do this. Okay, we'll proceed to clean our other two. And then I'll show you how I chop them up. Now we'll chop up the lobsters. Remove the rubber band on the claw. Twist the claw out first. Put them aside. Twist out the head like this. I'm not going to use the head for this dish, rather I'll be using this for my lobster abalone porridge. So if you want to know how to do that dish, please leave a comment in the comment box. Just set this aside. Now we'll clean our chopping board. All this green color, black color stuff, we don't want this. So just move them aside. This is actually the roll, so we'll keep this. Remove them and put them on a separate plate. Clean up the board again. For the body, we'll cut off the fins or leg of this, as well as the external shell. So just using a pair of scissors, just snip it off. And of course the legs. If you want to keep this, it's fine. If not, you can always cut it out also. Remove all these legs. Now if you want to just remove the flesh from the body, just snip this off and can slowly take out the flesh. But now we are cooking the noodles with this and I want it to look almost complete. So I'm just going to cut this into half and then half it again. Place it flat on your chopping board, starting on the second section here. Just put your knife in and press it hard like this. Move your knife now. Remove this and do it the same for the other side. And now we can just separate this out like this easily. And we'll just cut this into half. Same thing, about three sections here, leaving three sections behind. We we'll just cut it down like this. Remove this and we proceed to break the claw. At the section here, we'll just give this a chop. Slightly just use your cleaver or the back of your knife. Just lightly smash this up just to break the shell. Same thing with the claw also. Okay, this is done. And I'll proceed to show you how we put the dish together. Thank you.